You are watching Forbidden Knowledge TV. So next we got Billy Carson. And we're premiering. We showed a trailer earlier, but I can re-show it. But, uh-oh, uh there you go right there. The Terminator. What's happening? What's up, up, Dash? What's happening? Hey, man, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, bro. Yeah, it's all good, I, man. I mean, I haven't seen you in a while. You've been running around the whole universe. I know you've been on your spaceship going through and distributing all type of great information. Yeah. And, you know, for those that don't know Billy Carson, you should go over to Forbidden Knowledge. He drops jewels on, number one, the truth, straight from the text, but also the truth about how you can get some bread, too. All of it, good karma, visualizing the whole nine. So we've been shooting shows for, you know, a couple of years now. And we're now ready to put them out, Fox Soul. I wanted to now, you know, showcase everything in my war chest, what makes my brain go. You know, I think a lot of things. I got a lot of levels. And uh, you're one high level that a lot of frequency, a lot of a, a heavy frequency that some are not ready for. So I want you to introduce yourself for those that don't know you. I mean, you got more Instagram followers than me. You know what I mean? Right. So I know we popping right now. You yeah. was at a million. When I met you, you was at a million. Right, right, yeah. Yeah, man, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for the great introduction. My name is Billy Carson. I'm a best-selling two-time author. The first book is Compendium of the Emerald Tablets. The second book is Woke Doesn't Mean Broke. That book is a financial literacy book, 688 pages right now, and it's doing phenomenal numbers. Uh, I'm also a TV host on the Discovery Channel, Science Channel, History Channel, Travel Channel, Gaia, and now my own TV network, Forbidden Knowledge TV. Primarily talking about ancient civilizations, esoteric wisdom and knowledge, aerospace technology, and also I'm just dealing with motivation, inspiration, and where, we, where can we go as a civilization on this planet? How far can we go using our conscious intent and putting action behind that back by frequencies and trying to get to the next level? So, so far we've been just around and doing great. And everything in 2020 and 2021 was explosive for me. So what 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 can we expect from the TV show that we're going to see? Actually, Nicolette, let's we, we have to get them to be quiet. Can we can we replay Billy? We, we, we're going to show Billy. Uh, it's the manifestation uh, episode. You know, yeah. we chose to play this one first because we're going into the new year, and we want right. people to visualize their dreams so that they can make them tangible. So we're going to show a little clip of you, know, of, of you live from Dame Dash Studios. And also you coming through, you said, in February, right? Yeah, I'll be there February uh, 3rd through 7th. And definitely going to stop by the studio, man, and vibe with you. And let's knock out some more great content for your network. Absolutely, absolutely. Here's a little taste real quick of what they're going to get tomorrow. Hi, this is Billy Carson. Fox Soul. Another episode of Forbidden Knowledge with Billy Carson. Today we're going to talk about a topic that a lot of people have asked me about for many, many years, and that topic is how to manifest your own reality. Now, people have heard me talk about this before. I put up a couple of YouTube videos up about a couple of social media posts, but in actuality, I've never really spelled it out, you know, line by line exactly how it should be. The closest I've come is just a very short explanation, but I really want to take some time to give people the exact formula for how to manifest things into their own reality. So, if you want to talk about that episode as much as you remember, yeah. it, that's what oh, yeah. we're playing on Fox Soul tomorrow. Nice. Oh, beautiful, man. Well, it's talking about the power of manifestation. And every year I do this Manifest Destiny teaching course as well, with a lot of that knowledge I put into that show so that your followers and your viewers can actually gain some real knowledge from some real scientific research. What I did was I went deep into the research of manifesting and found that it's not some kind of magic, it's not wizardry. It's not, you know, a guy, a, a sky daddy with a magic wand giving you what your wishes and hopes are. It really comes down to understanding quantum physics. So behind the scenes of manifestation and wanting to control your reality, there's some things that happen behind the scenes dealing with quantum physics. A couple of things, actually. One thing is called quantum entanglement. That's where the light wave frequencies from your own brain quantum entangle with frequencies that exist out in the universe. And that's real peer-reviewed science. It's not something I just made up off the top of my head. These are real science articles that you can actually look up. They also discovered that there's something in the human brain uh, called the neural correlates of consciousness, which are three giant neurons that wrap around the brain 
And when you look at it under a cat scan, it looks like a crown of thorns. Kind of sounds familiar, right? The crown of thorns that Jesus had on his head. I think it was more uh, of an archetype of, of, of what they were trying to describe of what's inside of our own brains. And then the magnetite crystals that are inside of our brains. We have billions of crystals in our brains. What do crystals re do? Crystals receive information and transmit information. That's what they do. This is how we get radios, right? The first crystal radio set receivers were made from crystals inside the actual radio box so we can receive, we can receive radio signals. So our brain is already receiving frequencies and signals all the time. But the thing about it is when you add the neural cords to consciousness and you add the, the magnetite crystals along with the neocortex, neo from the matrix, all of a sudden you have this perfect storm that can actually encapsulate and hold in your conscious flow that's coming in from multi-dimensions. Consciousness is not created in the brain. The brain doesn't create consciousness. Consciousness is actually a download, and those three things I just described actually encapsulate that download and allow, allow you to actually inhabit your avatar body. And a lot of people don't know this, but what's interesting about this, it also gives you the capability of entangling with other information, other knowledge, other wisdom that exists anywhere in the universe. And because of this hidden power that people don't know exists, we all have the power to think about something in our minds on the consciousness platform, which is the multidimensional platform, which is where we actually live, where we're actually from. We're not from here. On that platform, if I'm thinking about creating a cell phone, I can see the cell phone on the multidimensional platform, which is coming from conscious streams. Then from there, I take it into a two-dimensional platform, which is going to be able to draw it on paper and then put it into a computer, which is two-dimensional on a CAD program, computer-assisted design. From computer-assisted design, I then hand it over to an engineer that converts it into a three-dimensional object that can move around in three-dimensional space-time on an XYZ axis. So from conscious thought from a higher dimension, I turn that information, a multidimensional information, into a solid structure that we can manipulate and move around in the third dimension. And everything in the third dimension is manifested by that exact technique. Nothing would be here if we didn't have that power. We manifest everything. We just take it for granted. So, you know, this show is really teaching people how to actually utilize that skill, utilize that power that's already innately inside of us to create their own reality. Exactly, that part. <laughs> and you broke that shit down in a very scientific, logical way. And, you know, innately we know it. It's just, I feel like we're just programmed not to recognize it because right. it's too powerful. But that's what being awake is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Understanding the power of your brain. Because I would think that, you know, we're only aware of 8% of our brain. I don't know what the rest of our brain could do. But it's that type of shit right there. Yeah. We don't know it. But figuring out how to trigger the things that we aren't aware of the powers that we have. Mm -hmm. We just don't have the manual on how to use it. Exactly. You know? That's what it's all about, the manual. So that's what I specialize in. Helping people understand uh, the to-do list, the checklist, everything you need to go by, and how to figure out what's really going on behind the scenes that you don't see. You don't see these things happening behind the scenes. Your brain is operating and functioning in that realm and doing things in that realm. How do you tap into that? How do you get more control and more understanding of what's really happening? And once you get that, then you have more power over your own destiny. And then you're happy. I think at the end of the day, the goal is to learn how to love and be happy. You yes. know, I was thinking the other day, and, you know, this just seems obvious. It's like, you know, with the metaverse and everything that's happening, we're in a very caveman place as it relates to this new world of digital. <laughs> Can yeah. you imagine in 30 years the innovations that they're going to have? And for me to be so arrogant to think we're the first race that figured out how to make another race in another <laughs> world, I'm just thinking we're just in a very more evolved program, you know, yeah. and we're in someone else's evolved, you know, and if I'm happy, I don't care, you know, as yeah. long as I'm happy. Right. You know I mean? right. Like, all right, if I'm the reality, as long as I'm happy. But I'm not yeah. going to be in a place where I'm unhappy and the shit's unreal. I'm going to figure out how to make it where I'm completely happy and only giving love, period. Exactly. That's the key. What you just said right there. The key is unconditional love. When you operate in that frequency, you can bend the matrix to your will because we are living in the matrix. You can bend the matrix to your will. And basically, the laws of physics fold in just for you. 
And, you know, we are living in a simulated universe. We are, in my opinion, living in, a, living in a holographic life matrix. And we ourselves are in already in a metaverse. And we are now, because as above, so below, we are now creating another simulated universe. Same way. And we, we only do what we, what's been done to us. Exactly. That's the way it it's always just works. It's like, you know, when you, was, when, when you put my coat to the fact that human beings were created to be slaves, and I'm like, God damn. That's why everybody thinks they're supposed to be slaves. Yes. That's why we all waiting to be told what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's in our exactly. DNA. Can yeah. You, just real quick, can you explain that real fast? Yeah, definitely. I can do that, and then I got to run. My text message just came in from my seats for my dinner. But so basically, um, you know, in the DNA, we are we have these epigenetic memories, and these epigenetic memories are actual program codes that tie all the way back from 15 to 20 generations before we even existed. Those epigenetic memories are encoded into our bodies. They come in through the RNA from the father's bloodline. So all the tragedies and the traumas and the drama and all the tragic situations that happened in the past, including slavery and everything else, get passed down into each consecutive generation, and you operate off of that program code. And it's real code because science has actually taken this code, converted it from A, C's, T's, and G's out of the DNA into zeros and ones, uploaded it to a server, and analyzed data, and then down converted that zeros and ones data back into A, C's, T's, and G's into DNA code, and downloaded it back onto DNA where they can store information on DNA in a volume. So they found out that DNA is a storage media. It stores volumes of data and information that we actually run on this program code. And we do things without even realizing that we're doing them. We operate in ways that we don't even realize we're operating because the DNA code is actually, uh, you know, giving us these hints and these clues or these or these different, like, for example, some people have PTSD. They don't know why they have PTSD. Some people have suicidal thoughts for no reason. Some people uh, are struggling with depression, and they have a great life. All these things are stemming from epigenetic memory and programming code that's inside the human body. Woo. So you'll be getting that tomorrow. On Fox Soul, and yeah. every week after that, because right. the things they don't want us to know, or at least give us the option to choose, you know, mm -hmm. and go with what's logical. But it does make so much sense, and yeah. you know, just in having conversations with Billy, it's so much. I just feel like I know too much, you know. I just saw my man Wa, my brother Wa from the Rough Riders, um, get on the live with Subwa. You know, that's my brother. I was just talking to Steve Mack. We was arguing. The nigga lost my Porsche, man. But anyway, so tomorrow, if you can, while we're actually on TV, I, if you want to check in on the live, you, you know, let's talk about it. Yeah. And everyone can see it on Dame Dash Studios, Fox Soul tomorrow, or just go to Dame Dash Studios, go to the Galaxy Network, and we have a whole lot of mind-blowing, awakening, real information. Hi, I'm Billy Carson, researcher, speaker, and best-selling author of The Compendium of the Emerald Tablets and Woke Doesn't Mean Broke. I'm inviting you to join me on ForbiddenKnowledge.tv to enjoy hours of great programming, learn the secrets of ancient Egypt, unexplained structures on the moon and Mars, financial literacy, holistic and healthy lifestyles. Go now to ForbiddenKnowledge.tv and get three days free. While there, you can enter to win a Rolls Royce. That's ForbiddenKnowledge.tv. You are watching Forbidden Knowledge TV. Hi, my name is Billy Carson, and I'm the president of Forbidden Knowledge. We have an amazing investment opportunity here for anyone who wants to buy shares in Forbidden Knowledge. The money that's generated from this crowdfunding platform is going to be used to bring on a new content acquisitions partner. We're going to hire a new in-house graphics designer, a social media manager, a put together a customer service team and a customer service management program that will organize and satisfy all the different legs of Forbidden Knowledge Inc. As well as, and of course, make more improved high quality streaming content for the Forbidden Knowledge TV platform, which right now is featured on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, iOS and Android apps, and also of course, the web. The streaming platform is a year old right now and doing very, very well. 
and we're looking for your support where you can not only be a conscious customer, but also be a part owner in an amazing opportunity that includes streaming TV, book publishing, and e-commerce. Grow with us and earn with us. Forbidden Knowledge Inc.